Hello dear friends, this is Hello Hollywood, that means you're in for some exciting news, let's get started. Georgina Rodriguez's has had her private family details laid bare in public for all to see during an ongoing lawsuit, with the media over her right to privacy and the right for her and her family to be left alone to live their lives. Her life changed the moment Cristiano Ronaldo noticed her one day when he went to a luxury store in Madrid, and she was the one who looked after the Portuguese star. Since then, the story has been written by itself, but also by the countless media that have been in charge of trying to unveil the secrets of the couple and her family. That is precisely what Rodriguez is trying to stop in court, what her entourage defines as the right to be forgotten, which is nothing more than trying to stop all those people who try to give voice to her family members on different programs. But that is something that has already happened to her in the past since her maternal grandmother and uncle, her half-sister Patricia and other people close to her already made statements in Salva Me and Sociality that ended up in court. That did not favor Rodriguez since the judges did not give her the decision and forced her to pay the costs of the trial. One of the hidden issues in her life is her relationship with her father, something that the Netflix documentary dealt with at great length. It is known that he died in Argentina and that he had a very hectic life that even led him to prison and ended up dying in that country due to a lengthy illness. However, according to Vanitatis, it was Rodriguez who took care of him on a few trips to Argentina. In fact, the point about her father life is one of the issues that has appeared in the sentence since members of her family said that she was no longer speaking to her father. Many of the statements made throughout the publications described in the lawsuit were not true, reads the judge's document. From what her sister Ivana said in the trial, the lawyer said that both sisters moved to Argentina upon learning of their father's serious health condition. Although due to the better working conditions of the defendant, it was agreed between both sisters that Ivana, who would remain in Argentina, took care for their father. Father. Therefore, the Rodriguez would return to Spain since she did not have an indefinite contract to remain in the country. During her father's hospitalization until his death, she traveled to Argentina on several occasions, stressing that neither her grandmother nor her maternal uncle spoke to the plaintiff because they did not have her cell phone. They only had the declarant's cell phone due to her father's illness. She is not ashamed of that part of the family. They simply did not have a relationship, concludes the document, in which a part of Rodriguez's life hidden until now is mentioned. That's all dear friends. Share this video, and leave your comments. Bye bye.